guys thank you for stopping by and uh, today's video you, you will watch uh, my uh, two of my work the first work i did uh, i wasn't satisfied with it like i did this one if you see it's a scratchboard work and i did my teacher uh, this is uh, dr alison stamatis and uh, it was very hard because i never tried a portrait on a scratchboard but it was doing alright but finally I decided it has too many texture in it and my teacher Mrs. Coleman she said you cannot leave too many texture in the face so I finally decided uh, not to do this one because actually I feel like it's not showing like a 60 or 70 percent of her real face it's not coming out this one and uh, it's uh, okay to me I guess I need to work some places to make more darker but so far I guess it's okay so enjoy the video and if you have some questions or anything uh, just write in the comment below and uh, some people also call me Sam and uh, I'm here in Texas taking some uh, drawing classes and design classes and uh, I'm enjoying my class so far and I'm also working on my YouTube channel also I post my uh, work on Instagram also I have Facebook pages so if you have time if you like to see work cool art work uh, you can visit uh, stay with me and uh, so far I have a one subscriber and more than 1400 views which is very wonderful like I didn't expect that uh, views and the subscribers so please uh, subscribe my channel and like and share with your family and I have some tips for you guys um, if you want to work something on it make sure you have a good reference for this if you have a reference photo like this, it's not clear enough, so it is very hard to work. So I got a hard time, so make sure you have a good reference photo. The second tips I want to give it to you, when you uh, scratch or uh, working on your sketchboard, make sure you are working very light, very gentle. I was working then I was kinda hurry, then I was I was scratching like this and I matched it right here. And you see that like the scratch board has like a black ink in the top and underneath you see the white side and also underneath it has the plastic. I mean the top of the plastic it has a ink on it. So I messed it up right here. So when you work, just make sure we're working gently. Not like hurry, not like a give it pressure too much. So I ruined my artwork right here. So I'll show some tips today. It probably will help you. You see that one kind of knife looking shape and you can work on it like a sideways and take it out the color and this one also the one third tips I can give it to you if you mess it up like this you also can use uh, ink the top or a brush pen ink like a, a favorite cassette brush you can use it on the top and you can work it on again I'll show you so it's like this if you make a mistake just erase it like this
like that kind of knife or scrap for tools. Another one. I like it a lot. This one. And also my uh, ma'am, Mrs. Coleman, she said you can use it a uh, nail polish remover to work on this scratch board but I never used it so maybe in the future I'll try this one. Nail polish remover sounds interesting. And another one scratch board tools right here. It's very nice looking. And you can use this specific one for make a hair. And just like this. my tips and enjoy the rest of the video.